in the java microservices mainly we are going to learn four modules the first module restful services second module microservices development third module spring security fourth module integrations now before going to start that we had little discussion related to what is monolith architecture and what is microservices architecture can you guys tell me what is monolithic architecture right developing single application with all functionalities is called as monolithic architecture what are the drawbacks in the monolithic architecture maintenance of the project will become difficult single point of failure and redeploying entire application these are the challenges to overcome the challenges of monolithic architecture people are going for microservices architecture what is the meaning of microservices architecture divide the functionality into multiple apis we are not going to develop everything in one project functionality will be divided into multiple apis that is called as microservices architecture microservices architecture nothing but collection of rest apis will be available front end will be separate back end will be separate all the back end will not be available in one project so independent apis small small apis we are going to develop those small small apis are called as microservices <clears throat> what are the advantages of going with microservices the first one is maintenance of the project will become easy high availability will be available development will be faster and releases will be faster and technology independence what is the meaning of technology independence what is the meaning of technology independence ha huh. here all the back end apis we no need to develop by using one technology every api can be developed with the different technology is that microservice related to only java no microservices not related to only java it is universal architectural design pattern microservice is an architectural design pattern it is a kind of approach to develop our application now here when we develop our application by using microservices the functionalities will be loosely coupled so fine so to develop microservices what we need to learn first first we need to learn restful services now let's try to understand what is a restful service restful services restful services are used to develop distributed application what is the main purpose of going for restful services the main purpose of restful services to develop distributed application to develop distributed application with the interoperability with the interoperability remember we want to develop distributed application with the interoperability for that we are going for restful services so what is the meaning of distributed application if one application can communicate with the another application then those applications are called as distributed application if one project is communicating with the another project then those projects are called as distributed application then what is the meaning of interoperability interoperability nothing but interoperability means platform independent and language independent interoperability interoperability means platform independent platform independent and language independent that means java application should be able to communicate with the dot net application okay dot net application should be able to communicate with the python application python application should be able to communicate with the java application like this without bothering about the technology without bothering about the platform if one application is communicating with the another application 
then those applications are called as distributed application with interoperability why we are going to learn this restful services restful services are used to develop distributed applications with interoperability distributed application means one application can communicate with the another application when one application communicating with the another application both will be developed by using same technology may not be developed with the same technology may not be developed with the same technology that means we want to achieve interoperability we want to achieve interoperability what is the meaning of interoperability irrespective of the platform platform independent and language independent my project is developed by using java my java application should be able to communicate with the .net application my .net application should be able to communicate with the python application my python application should be able to communicate with the java that means we should not bother about the technology that is used to develop the application irrespective of the platform irrespective of the language if two applications are communicating they are called as distributed applications and interoperable application now the question is why one application should communicate with another application why one application should communicate with another application come on i have a question i'm saying that one application will communicate with the another application the question is why one application should communicate with the another application ha uh, to reuse to reuse business services what is the main purpose to reuse business services one application will communicate with the another application that is called as b2b communication now let us take a scenario here tcs company developed one project called developed one project called irctc project okay tcs company are assume that infosys or tcs some company developed a project called irctc project in the irctc project lot of business logic is available lot of business logic is available irctc application having one database irctc is a government application it is central government in the india central government will deal with the irctc irctc application is a central government application irctc application will deal with indian railways irctc will deal with indian railways what are the trains available in the india from which station to which station what is the journey date what is the ticket price from which to which place all the information related to indian railways available in the irctc irctc is called as owner for the indian railways can we call that yes or no irctc acting as a owner for indian railways now central government has given 10 crores money central government has given 10 crores money they have given 3 years at time they invested 10 crores money and they invested 3 years at time then tcs company developed this project and the customers are able to book the train tickets okay guys so 3 years at time they have spent 10 crores money they have spent central government has spent that money and they developed one application that is our irctc in the irctc lot of business logic is available to book the train ticket to check the ticket status to cancel the train ticket to book the food for the journey we can book the hotels lot of functionality is available now here there is a another company called make my trip there is another company called make my trip what this company people thought that is these people are providing the functionality for flight tickets booking make my trip company providing the facility 
to book the flight tickets now they are successful in the flight tickets booking irct is successful in the train tickets booking they are doing the business now make my trip application having its own database they are managing flight tickets booking in the india okay guys they are managing flight tickets booking in the india they are having their own database one fine day make my trip business owner got the idea make my trip business owner got one idea we are successfully running flight tickets booking facility in our application we are having so many customers in the market so many people are using our website so many people are using our mobile app now some people are booking flight tickets now we want to provide train tickets booking also in our application that business owner got that idea that business owner got that idea we are already successful in the flight ticket booking irctc already successful in the train ticket booking they are doing one business we are doing one business we are running flights booking they are running trains booking okay now this make my trip is a private company project make my trip itself is a company they developed their own project that business owner got the idea why can't we provide train ticket booking in our website why can't we provide train ticket booking already we are providing flights booking we want to provide trains booking also but make my trip is owner for the indian railways irct is owner for the indian railway irctc is owner for the indian railway now if you make my trip communicate with the irctc db is it possible why it is not possible ah uh, irctc developed by one company that is a government project make my trip is developing by another company that is a private company so this private company cannot access the database of irctc okay suppose for example if they get the contract from the irctc to book the tickets okay they had discussion with the government central government we can also provide the just give us the indian railway database we can also provide the booking for the trains suppose if a government has given the permission for the make my trip again what those people need to do they need to spend 3 years of time and they need to spend 10 crores money even after spending that there is no guarantee that will become success or that will become failure instead of taking that risk instead of taking that risk whatever i want to develop in the make my trip already it is running in the irctc it is already successful it is running in the market people are using that it is a proven solution whatever the solution they have implemented why we need to implement the same solution again by spending 3 years of time by spending 10 crores of money that is waste of time waste of money right why waste of time waste of money somebody already developed it why don't we use that why we need to reinvent the wheel again if i want to develop what will happen 3 years time i need to spend and 10 crores money i have to spend in these 3 years somebody come up with the same solution my time will be wasted my money will be wasted suppose i am starting make my trip development with the train booking after 6 months yatra came into market with the train ticket booking go ibbo came into market with the train ticket booking my money will be wasted my time will be wasted here make my trip people wants to reuse the logic instead of redeveloping the logic are you guys getting my point whatever the logic is required for make my trip that logic already available in the irctc instead of redeveloping the logic can we reuse the logic yes or no now can i go and ask them whatever the code you develop i will give you 1 crore please give me your code so that i will run will they give that code why that is their business that is their business if some other institute come ashok it project is looking good please give your code we will run our institute also will i give that code 
No, because that is my business. Now, can make my trip people go and ask IRCTC, we will pay 1 crore money, please give the code. Will they give the code or they will not give the code? They will not give the code because that is their business. Okay. Make my trip cannot take the code from IRCTC. Make my trip don't want to develop the same logic again and again. Okay. That's where they will come to one agreement. Okay, boss. You need a ticket booking. You need a ticket booking for your customer. Your customer will talk to your application. Your customer will talk to your application to book the ticket. You collect the data from your customer. You collect the data from your customer. Whatever the passenger data is available, you send passenger data to me. You send your passenger data to me. You no need to book the ticket. You give me your passenger data. Once you give the passenger data, ticket booking will happen in my project. What logic will execute that you don't know, I will not tell you. That is my secret business. That is my complex business logic. You just want a ticket booking. You should not know what logic we have written. I will not give you my logic. You need a ticket booking. Let us do one dealing. B2B communication. For your passengers, you give your passenger data. I will execute my logic in my project. I will give the ticket for you. You give the ticket to your customer. For every ticket booking, you give me 5 rupees. For every ticket booking, you give me 5 rupees. My logic will execute. You will provide a ticket booking for your customer. Your customer will not know where the ticket booking is happening. Your customer will think that ticket booking is happening in the make my trip. You secretly send the passenger data to my application. My application will execute the logic to book the ticket. I will give the ticket for you. You give the ticket to your customer. You will get the business. I will get the business. For every ticket, you give me 5 rupees. For every ticket, you will give me 5 rupees. You no need to spend 3 years. You no need to spend 10 crores. You just give me 5, ru 5 rupees for every ticket booking. That is called business to business communication. Both companies are doing business. They are communicating. Okay. Now, make my trip redeveloping the logic, make my trip reusing the logic, make my trip reusing the logic, make my trip will send the request, IRCTC will send the response. Now, what is the benefit of this B2B communication? Uh -huh. Reusing the business services. Why one application should communicate with the another application? to reuse business services that is called b2b now tell me make my trip will write the logic again make my trip will reuse the logic make my trip will reuse the logic so when you try to book a train ticket in the make my trip make my trip will collect your data make my trip will give your data to irctc irctc will execute the logic to book the ticket IRCTC will send the ticket data to the make my trip. Make my trip will give the ticket data to the customer. IRCTC doing business. Make my trip also doing business. That is called business to business communication. If you want to establish business to business communication, we need to develop restful services. Without restful services, they cannot communicate like this. Are you clear? Now here, can I call Make My Trip and IRCTC as a distributed application? Can I call them as a distributed application? How can we say they are distributed? Uh -huh. One application communicating with the another application. Now, this Make My Trip application developed by using Java. Assume that IRCTC application also developed by using Java. Any problem? So Java application can communicate with the another Java application. Suppose IRCTC developed by using .NET. Any problem? No problem. Because our applications are interoperable. Java application should be able to communicate with the .NET application. .NET application 
should be able to communicate with the java sir how they will communicate with each other now simple example i am from telugu mother tongue background some people are here from hindi mother tongue background how we are communicating some people don't know telugu right i don't know hindi how we are communicating by using one mediator called english why i am using english as a mediator that is understandable by both parties faculty don't know hindi students don't know telugu how faculty and students are communicating by using one common language what is that common language english whatever english i am speaking you will understand whatever english you are speaking i will understand that means here if two people wants to communicate one common language is required similarly if two applications wants to communicate one common language is required java don't know what is dotnet dotnet don't know what is java java is one language dotnet c sharp is one language now my application one application developed by java another application developed by dotnet so both are two different languages from two different companies then how our applications will communicate that's where we need one mediator we need one mediator now make my trip should communicate with the irctc saying that hey make my trip this is my passenger data you book the ticket for the passenger then irctc okay make my trip i will book the ticket ticket booking is completed okay take this is your ticket then make my trip will take the ticket will give to customer so that kind of communication should happen between java application and .net application so to communicate from one application to another application we need one common language that a common language people will use xml or json what is the common language between java and dot net xml or json xml or json are the formats to represent the data whatever the passenger data available make my trip will convert passenger data to the xml format we give to irctc dot net can understand the xml java can understand the xml dot net can understand the json java can understand the json make my trip application will take the passenger data will convert it to json format will send the json to irctc irctc will understand the json will book the ticket will give the ticket data back to make my trip in the json format we are going to use xml or json as a mediator to exchange the data from one application to another application because of this xml and json our applications are interoperable application what is the meaning of interoperable language independent platform independent xml json not only for java they will work with dotnet they will work with python they will work with angular they will work with react those are universal formats those are interoperable formats to represent the data when we are going for distributed application we are going to exchange data between the applications in the form of xml or json earlier xml was very famous now json is more famous in the market 99.9% of the applications are communicating through json data json is platform independent json is language independent make my trip will send a request with the json data to irctc irctc will send the ticket data in the form of json to the make my trip irctc make my trip will communicate by using json data one application will send the request another application will send the response as they are using json as a mediator they are called as interoperable application distributed application with interoperability 
what is the meaning of distributed one application communicating with the another application how one application communicating with the another application xml or json why xml or json interoperability both applications should be able to understand the data now tell me what is a restful service why we need to learn the restful services why we need to learn the restful services to develop to develop distributed applications with interoperability we need to go for restful services application one will communicate with the application two when one application is communicating with the another application interoperability is very important what is the meaning of interoperability platform independent and language independent java application should be able to communicate with the dotnet dotnet should be able to communicate with the python python should be able to communicate with the java that is called interoperable now why one application should communicate with another application come on guys to reuse the business services what is the meaning of reusing the business services come on ah huh. whatever our requirement is there if somebody already developed our requirement we no need to spend the time and money let us reuse that by having a business dealing b2b communication let us take one more scenario now assume that ibm people developed one project this is ibm application ibm weather application is available guys ibm people knows how to communicate with the satellites ibm people knows how to communicate with the satellites to get the temperature data ibm people knows how to communicate with the satellite and by communicating with the satellite they can get the temperature data now so this ibm people project they spent 5 years of time and finally they got success they are able to get the temperature data from the satellites okay guys now i have a requirement i am developing one java project i am developing one java project let us assume that this is our ashok it java application in my java application <clears throat> in my java application i want to display weather information okay if you give your zip code based on the zip code next one week i want to display weather forecasting information are you guys clear with my point these people has spent 5 years to develop this project they spent almost 100 crores for that they spent 5 years of time they spent 100 crores of money finally they got success they are able to communicate with the satellite by using their application we don't know what technology they have used we don't know what logic they have implemented if i go and ask ibm people what technology you used what is the logic could you please tell me will they tell me that why ah huh. they spent 5 years of time they spend 100 crores of money why they will tell their secret for me they will not tell their secret for me now i have the same requirement i want to communicate with the satellite to get the temperature data i want to display in my application if i want to communicate with the satellite what i need to do first of all do we know how to communicate with the satellite if i know how to communicate with the satellite i will be in the nasa not in the amir pet yes or no will i teach java for you if i know how to communicate with satellite i will be in the nasa senior general senior architect like that right so now i don't know how to communicate with the satellite but my requirement is there i want to communicate with the satellite to get the temperature data whatever the requirement i have same thing already developed by ibm company then what i need to do ha ah, dealing i need to have a dealing with the ibm people hey ibm i will meet sales team of the ibm guys 
recently i came to know about your weather forecasting application you spent 5 years 100 crores congratulations your project is success i am also having the same requirement but i don't have that much time i don't have that much money to develop a project to communicate with the satellite but i need this functionality in my project can we do a business dealing for every request i will give you 10 rupees i will give the request with the zip code can you give the response with the temperature for every request i will pay you 10 rupees like that i will do a business dealing if they are okay with the business dealing then what will happen ashok it application will send the request to ibm application with the zip code ibm application will send the temperature data to ashok id application so now this is a request and this is a response can we call this as a b2b communication am i able to display temperature in my website did i develop the logic i am using the logic i am reusing the logic one project logic i am reusing in the another project that is called distributed application to reuse business services of one application in the another application we will develop restful services by using restful services one application will communicate with the another application how they will communicate what is the format now ashok it application developed by using java do i know which technology used by ibm i don't know i don't know i will send xml data or i will send json data xml and json are universal everybody can understand okay ashok it application will send json data to ibm application with the zip code based on my zip code they will get the temperature from the satellite they will give the temperature data back to ashok it application in the json format i know what is the json they know what is the json we will communicate with each other that is called b2b communication in the real time 95% of the projects are running like this they are distributed applications with interoperability now you imagine how many applications you are using daily how many web applications you are using daily come on you are using several applications daily banking application google pay phone pay paytm swiggy uber ola zomato facebook instagram whatsapp our website also ha huh? app you are using right so many applications you are using have you seen integration between one application to another application have you seen integration one one project is communicating with another project or not yes definitely as part of the business communication one project will be communicating with the another project that communication is happening through web services web service nothing but in the internet one project service is accessing by another project that is called web services earlier people used to call them as web services now people are calling as restful services restful services are used to develop distributed application with interoperability now so if i want to communicate from one project to another project do you need that both should be java both should be dot net both should be python is it required or not required not required java can communicate with dot net dot net can communicate with java java can communicate with python python can communicate with dot net because xml and json xml is also outdated in the market people are going for only json data so with this you got the clarity what is a restful service okay restful services are used to develop distributed application now guys earlier to develop distributed applications there are several distributed technologies are available earlier to develop distributed applications there are several technologies available first one is corba first one is not cobra 
korba right korba it is a technology name so after the after the korba rmi came into picture after the rmi after rmi ejb came into picture after the ejb soap web services came into picture after the soap web services restful services came into picture are you guys clear right what are the technologies that are available to develop distributed application korba is available rmi is available ejb available soap web services available and restful services also available so now all these things are outdated in the market currently people are going with the restful services these restful services only for java or even for dotnet and python also ha huh. restful services available in every technology in the java we can develop the restful services dotnet people can develop restful services python people also can develop restful services right now let us come to restful services architecture i can say rest architecture let us say rest architecture when it comes to rest architecture guys mainly two things will be available one is called as provider second one is called as consumer so now some people will call this provider as resource and this consumer is called as client naming is different synonyms provider is called as a resource consumer is called as a client what is the meaning of a provider ah uh -huh. what is the meaning of a provider the application the application which is providing or which is giving services to other applications provider nothing but the application which is giving services to other applications is called as provider application the application which is giving services to other applications is called as provider application then next one what is a consumer what is a consumer come on guys the application which is accessing which is accessing services from other applications is called as is called as consumer application provider application is available and consumer application will be available so that means who is providing services that application is called as a provider who is accessing the services that is called as a consumer here ibm is providing the service so this application is called as provider <clears throat> this application is called as a provider and this application is called as a consumer what is the difference between provider and consumer provider will contain the business logic consumer will access that business logic provider means the application which is providing the services to other application consumer means the application which is consuming the services from the other application can one provider have multiple consumers irctc providing to make my trip providing to atra providing to go ibibo that means one provider will have multiple consumers so they are doing business to business communication are you guys clear with this one now how provider and consumer will con connect with each other will exchange the data xml data or json data how can how communication will happen how communication will happen between provider and consumer http protocol with xml or json data http protocol http protocol will act as a mediator between provider and consumer http protocol will act as mediator between consumer and provider so consumer will send a 
HTTP request to the provider. Provider will send HTTP response to the consumer. Now, so who is going to act as a mediator between the provider and consumer? HTTP protocol will act as mediator between consumer and provider. Then consumer and provider will exchange data in the form of XML or JSON. Why they are using only XML or JSON? Uh, XML and JSON are XML and JSON are platform XML and JSON are interoperable. What is the meaning of interoperable? Uh, here, suppose this application is Java. This application is a .NET application. Assume that. This is a Java application and this is .NET application. Java can understand JSON, .NET can understand JSON. Java can understand XML, .NET can understand. For example, my application is a Java. If I send a Java object to the provider, can they understand or they cannot understand? They cannot understand. Why they cannot understand? Right. They know only .NET. So that's why. We need one common language to communicate. That's where XML or JSON. HTTP protocol will act as a mediator between consumer and provider. Consumer and provider will exchange data in the form of XML or JSON. XML and JSON are interoperable. XML and JSON are interoperable. Okay. When it comes to HTTP, we need to discuss HTTP protocol. In the advanced Java, already we discussed what is a HTTP protocol. HTTP protocol will contain HTTP request and HTTP response will be available. HTTP methods will be available and HTTP status codes will be available. Okay. If you want to develop our RESTful services, we need to know more about HTTP protocol. What is HTTP request? What is HTTP response? What are the methods available? What are the status codes available that we need to understand? Okay. When you go for a HTTP request here, multiple parts will be available. We'll come to that later. Right. So with this, we understood what is a monolith architecture? What is microservice architecture? What is a distributed application? And why we need to go for distributed application? And what is interoperability? In the real time, our projects will communicate with other projects like this. This is one scenario. Another scenario, microservices. Microservices means only backend logic will be available. API 1. API 2 and API 3. Backend APIs will be available. These APIs also REST APIs. API 1, API 2. API 1 is available, API 2 is available, and API 3 available. These three APIs are called as RESTful services only. Now here, front end will be available. UI application will be available. That UI application can be with the Angular or with the React. So most of the applications will use either Angular or React for the front end. Now this UI application can communicate with the API 1 and this application can communicate with the API 2. This application will communicate with the API 3. How the communication will happen? JSON data. Frontend application will take the data from the user, will give to the backend REST APIs. Backend REST APIs will execute the logic, will give the response to the UI application. Now, end user is going to communicate with the UI application. UI application will communicate with the backend application. What are the backend application? Backend can be Java or .NET or Python. They are REST APIs. They are REST API. That's why I'm telling you, when we go for microservices architecture, APIs can be developed using different, different technology. 
one API with Java, another API with the .NET also we can do. For UI, it doesn't matter whether it is a Java or a .NET. For UI, what it matters? Data matters. UI will give the data to backend. Backend will give the data to the UI. Whether backend is Java or .NET, your UI don't know that. UI will send JSON data to the backend application. Backend application will send JSON data to the UI application. Nowadays in the market, most of the applications are developing like this. So this is called microservice based application. Backend APIs will be available. Frontend application will be available. User will communicate with the frontend application. Frontend application will send a request to backend application. Now, these backend applications may have single database, may have multiple databases. That depends upon the requirement. Are you guys clear? Good. Yes. This is one project. This is one project. That is possible. That is called inter-service communication. One API can communicate with another API. That depends upon the requirement. Will come. Here, here, who is a consumer? UI is the consumer. APIs are the providers. APIs will provide the data to the UI. Right. Now, based on the requirement, one REST API can communicate with another REST API. This REST API may communicate with the third party REST API. This is another company REST API. Based on the requirement, this can communicate like this. That is possible. My APIs, they can communicate with each other. Depends on the requirement. My API can communicate with the third party API. Third party API means other company developed API. Right. So now, as part of the RESTful services, you need to understand this. How one project will communicate with the another project. And how UI will communicate with the backend application. So as part of this course, as we discussed, we need to learn these areas. How to develop REST APIs how to develop microservices, how to secure our microservices, and how to integrate our applications with the third party tools like Kafka, Redis, and all that stuff. Yeah. Any questions, anyone? Online students, anybody having any questions? Guys, today I'm closing the class a little early. I'm getting throat pain. So tomorrow we'll continue. Yeah. Any questions, anyone? You got the clarity, what is RESTful service? What is a distributed application? What is interoperability? Yes, what is the RESTful service? RESTful services are used to develop distributed application with interoperability. What is the meaning of interoperability? Language independent and platform independent. If two applications are communicating, they are called as interoperable application. First question, why one application should communicate with another application? To reuse the business services. Instead of redeveloping the logic, I want to go for reusability. When some logic, somebody developed it. Same logic I want. Instead of developing the logic again, I can go for reusability. Now, so earlier, what are the technologies available to develop distributed application? Corba, RMI, EJB, SOAP, and now we are going for RESTful services. These RESTful services are trending in the market. When you go for REST architecture, how many actors available? Two actors available. Who are those two? One is the provider, another one is consumer. What is the meaning of a provider? Application which is giving the services to other application. What is consumer? The application which is accessing services from other application. How communication will happen between provider and consumer? What is the mediator? HTTP protocol will act as mediator between consumer and provider. How they will exchange the data? By using XML or JSON. 
which is having more demand json is having more demand why they are using only xml and json interoperability xml is interoperable json is also interoperable now in two scenarios we are going to develop rest api if one project want to communicate with another project rest api will be used if you want to develop distributed application with microservice architecture then also we will go for rest api development in the tomorrow class we are going to discuss about http protocol i already explained in the advanced java once again we will revise we need strong knowledge on the http protocol then only we can develop our rest apis effectively got it good thank you guys with this i'm stopping for today we'll continue in the tomorrow session and one more thing as we told i think drive is there on saturday we send you a message in the whatsapp group so prepare on core java on spring boot they will conduct the drive for the freshers right fine <clears throat>